All right, guys. So as you know, the title of this video already. Um, but before we get started, we took the Y-pipe off already because I'm going to take it in tomorrow to get the cats cut out of it. And the Y-pipe's out of it, and we're done. And he kept convincing me to start the thing open header. So we're going to start it open header. I don't know where to stand because, like, it doesn't really matter, I guess. See if it blows up. It's not going to blow up. I was gonna say let it idle down. Wow, that's. I was gonna say you should let it idle down. Okay, well, I'll pull it out. Screw it. <laughs> yeah, why are we gonna push it? You already started it. Oh my god, that's. My head actually hurts from you starting in there. It's so loud. Oh! Dude, that smell. You want me to rev it up in here? Huh? You want me to rev? Like, just do a blip to see, like, just a little if one, it yeah. pops. It's not a pop. Just a small one. Sounds like OBS Chevy. <laughs> yeah, it really does. Imagine when it's cam, dude. All right, guys, what's going on? Show 34 here, bringing you another vlog. Um, I'm outside and it's cold. Basically, you already saw the first clip. I'm doing, I took the cats off this truck. I should have done this in the first place, and I got a whole reasoning to why I didn't in the first place, and I'll, I'll tell you that reason in a second. But I got one last startup to do so I can pull it in the garage to put the Wi-Fi back on because we did just get the cats cut off and pipe welded in place of it. I'll show you that when we get there. Um, I got to do one more startup with it. And I don't want to let it run for too long. A, I don't want it to get hot. B, I don't want it to run open headers for that long. <laughs> but here it is. Alright, let's get her inside. Alright guys, so real quick before we begin. My reasoning for not going catless in the first place was because I had no muffler. And when I got these headers, I had no muffler already. And so I was nervous of how it would sound because I don't care about volume. I care about how much it like crackles. And like if you get on the gas with like a full straight pipe exhaust in a truck, when it sounds horrible, full straight. Doesn't matter what kind of vehicle you have. It's like, it's very crackly and stuff like that. So that's why when I ordered headers in the first place, I got cats because i wanted to be able to be loud without that happening without having to get a cat back well as you know i put the headers and the high flow cats on and it still was crackly so i had to get a cat back so now i was like well shoot when it was crackly anyway i should have just gone catless in the first place and taken and put a cat back on it so basically that's where i'm at now i, I wanted to avoid having to put a cat back on but now that i had to anyway I could have gone catless in the first place. And this truck just doesn't have the presence it used to. Even with the muffler delete, it just doesn't have the presence it used to. Even though it's got headers and a cat back, it still doesn't have the presence. So that's what we're gonna try and give it today. This is the this is the final revision that I'm gonna do with this truck. I'm not gonna change it up again probably. Um, because I'm you know, we're gonna go cam and stuff like that. So we're gonna keep working on that. This was just like two hundred bucks for the local shop to um I had 409 stainless steel pipe, three inch pipe left over. So I gave them the 409 stainless and the 304 stainless Y pipe and told them just cut the cats out and weld in this 409 in place of it. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. And we're gonna get this truck in the air and throw it on. It's not gonna sound any different. It's just going to be louder. You guys might not even notice it. Maybe you will, I don't know, but we'll figure it out. All 
right, so here's a look at the stuff. So this is the 409 that I had left over from the cat back. Actually, it was obviously longer. And these are the two high flow cats that they cut out. Which, I mean, there's not a lot there, but there's still, it's still a restriction. And this is the new pipe they put in. So over lunch, I, ha I kicked this in in the morning, and over lunch, they gave it back, mocked it up, and had me come test fit it. I test fit it, and it was good. So then they finished everything. Like I said, a local hot rod shop, uh, American Gasser did this. And I'm just ready to put it on. So I've loosely just got the Y pipe mocked up into place and kind of tightened these up just so that I would hold it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this uh, extend, whatever, I don't know what you want to call it, mid pipe on to the muffler and then we'll kind of tighten everything up and get her on. Putting this on is a pain in the butt. Up. All, right. Give me a All right, so I finally got her up, got her in the muffler, got the Y connected to the mid pipe, and I got these tight on both sides already. Um, I pounded this in here as far as it would go, this in there as far as it would go. It's all going to line up the same because these are the same measurements. In fact, I'll show you. Actually, this one is a tad longer, but this could be the other one too. Because I lined one of them up and they, they matched up, so. Same length. So everything's obviously gonna match up still. Not a cheapo, I'm not a hack job either. This is, I could have, I spent $750 on this Y-pipe. And to get a catless one, it would have been 650. So I'm like, okay, that's a waste of money. If I've got, a quality 304 stainless Y pipe. Why not just put 409 stainless in place of the cats? Get it professionally done, and it turned out good. Got that tightened up. This tightened up. Down to here, that's tightened in. This one's tightened in. I got the O2 sensors in there and tight. Down to the mid pipe, down on the muffler. Now, before I lower this thing down, I am going to adjust my exhaust. Tips are a little off. I'm gonna mess with that. All right, it's about as good as I'm gonna get it. They're still not perfect, but they are better than they were. I'm gonna drop the truck down, clear the code, and we'll start it. Just remember, I'm gonna leave it in the air because, or like hoisted, because I do want to lift it up after I start it. Check for leaks. All right, guys. I don't know why I'm so nervous, but I am. Once this door closes, I'm gonna remote start it. I'm gonna figure out how it sounds. This is pretty much gonna be a cold start too. I mean, it's been sitting outside. I drove it in here, open header, but here we go. Sounds the same like I figured, but it is a little louder, and that's good. I'm gonna lift it up right now. Oh wow, I can smell it. All right. Got one there. Don't have one there. Got one there. Holy crap. Got them everywhere. Okay guys, I can't even begin to explain. I was tightening up the collectors to like try and stop a leak and I snapped a bolt. So I was sitting there for like 20 minutes going on the shop trying to find something. Got something going, it's tight, it's not leaking. I wish you guys could smell the smell. It smells so good at 93. Um, 
this is what it, it like I said it's not any different sound wise but getting on a little bit under load is a little louder and it'll just enhance a camshaft that much more and I'm so excited it's got a little bit more of a drone barely like I can almost it almost shakes the truck a tad bit more like I the kind of drone that you can like feel in your seat it doesn't you don't really notice in your ears, but you can feel it. I don't know, it's kind of weird to explain. Otherwise, everything else is pretty normal. I did, I forgot to leave record, or I forgot to record leaving the shop. It's a, it is a little, you can hear a little bit of a difference um, in higher RPMs. I didn't floor it yet. And a not, it's not a raspy, so that's good. Uh, we're heading to Ryan's right now to flash the No Cats tune on the truck. And maybe we can get some pulls. I don't understand how this happens. Every time I do some sort of install to the truck that I want to go rip it, it freaking rains. The state, well, during this month, it's pretty rainy, but like the state's not like a rain state. I don't understand. It's all the time when I do something to the truck. Here's a hot idol. Probably gonna start out in seconds, it's not gonna feel that fast.